The Jaguar I-Pace made headlines at the New York International Auto Show by winning the World Car of the Year Award and the Organization's Award for Design of the Year and Green Car of the Year. However, the I-Pace isn't winning where it counts, at the dealership. The Jaguar all-electric crossover SUV has sold just 608 units in the US through March, plus another 393 late last year. Meanwhile, Tesla has sold an estimated 3,850 Model X crossovers, as tailed by Inside EVs, through their first three months of 219. Looking at these numbers and the kind of fame these vehicles are getting, buyers are confused about how nobody is buying the electric world car of the year. Are you also one of them? And are you seeking answers to a few questions? Then stay with us till the end of the video to know the unknown. Let's get started. For its part, Jaguar says the I-Pace is off to a great start. However, the brand admits it is sending vehicles to do their best. What we were doing worldwide is allocating the cars to the markets that had the highest command and profitability. So the greatest opportunity for that, at this point in time, has been the Scandinavian countries. Dave Larson, Product and Launch Planning Director for Jaguar Land Rover North America, told Green Car Reports. Meanwhile, Jaguar has sold only 200 to 400 units per month in the US, even as the I-Pace earned recognition as the first vehicle from a luxury brand to take on Tesla at its own game. It's been two years since Jaguar Land Rover introduced the I-Pace EV. Despite earning multiple design awards and decent sales in Europe, the electric Jaguar crossover has struggled in the US. The company has also faced battery supply issues. Joe Eberhardt, Jaguar's Land Rover North American CEO, wants to use lessons from the I-Pace and apply them to the new EVs, including the upcoming electric XJ sedan. But the path forward is not clear. You almost want to turn the marketing message on its head. It's not that it's an electric XJ, it's that it's the ultimate luxury sedan. We will position it as the ultimate luxury sedan that happens to be electric. And the best way to build that is with an electric powertrain. That makes sense, but it is the same message that Stuart Shaw, Vice President of Communications for Jaguar Land Rover, told me two years ago. Our engineering and designers were simply thinking about making a great Jaguar that's also an electric vehicle. This formula has not worked so far for Jaguar. Nonetheless, Eberhardt emphasised that the marketing strategy for the XJ due in 2021 will focus on interior design and driving excitement and performance. So the XJ could essentially become a sedan version of the I-Pace with the same positioning. The JLR exec said that starting this year all of the company's model lines will be electrified in some way. This comment suggests a possible shift to plug-in hybrids offered next to Jaguar's EVs. The company also plans to introduce two new electric crossovers, the Jaguar J-Pace and the Land Rover model dubbed Road Rover. It's not certain which of these new plug-in models will be sold in the US. Eberhardt pointed to external circumstances rather than the I-Pace's design, price and efficiency as the reason for slow sales. He also said that gasoline is at an all-time low. If you drive 15,000 miles a year, you aren't spending as much money on gas. So the savings you get from an electric powertrain doesn't necessarily offset the increased cost of the vehicle. The second challenge for all of us, the residual value, is still a considerable concern. No one really knows what the market of the used electric car will look like three, four or five years from now. The charging infrastructure is not transparent. We are getting slowly over the range anxiety issue. Eberhardt believes EVs will be a preferred power chain choice for performance brands despite these factors. It's a matter of timing. He said that the audience for EVs is growing, but maybe not to the degree that we as an industry, and us in particular, expected. We are not completely disappointed with where we are with iPace, but I guess as good a product as it is, we were hoping for a little quicker adoption. It is a longer journey than we thought. The winning formula for a new EV can be elusive. 
the 394 horsepower I-Pace, which sells for about under $70,000, is rated for 234 miles of range. The I-Pace stacks up decently with the competition as a matter of specs. I've enjoyed driving the electric Jag every minute of my time, both during the media event two years ago and in more recent loans. But its 2,500 or so sales in the US in 2019 were only about half of what Audi managed for 3 Tron. And both of these luxury electric crossovers were way behind the Model X's approximate 19,000 sales last year. The power of the Tesla brand and access to the Tesla supercharger network are major selling points. The arrival of the Model Y with the Mustang Mach-E and Volkswagen ID.4 close behind will only increase the competition for Jaguar this year and beyond. If you've gotten this far, be sure to smash the subscribe button for more awesome content. Can JLR deliver some significant innovation or a breakthrough level of range for the I-PACE and XJ EV? If not, it's unclear what the company can do to push electrification other than spreading plug-in tech across its production line, shifting a few of its current customers into an EV. It has been found out that the share of the Jaguar I-PACE out of the overall Jaguar sales decreased by 8.7% which is basically the lowest level since the introduction of the first and only electric model in the lineup. Larson said the issue might be awareness. Jaguar is known for sports cars and sleek sedans, while Tesla has a well-earned reputation for almost single-handedly championing the electric car in the US. We just launched the car in October. We are about to kick off a marketing campaign to reinforce the capability of how it compares to the other vehicles in the segment, Larson said. Early in the introduction cycle, a new marketing campaign doesn't usually bode well for sales. For now, Larson noted there is no waiting list to get an iPace, which starts at $70,525 and has an official EPA range of 234 miles. The range is considerably lower than the Model X's 295 miles, and numerous owners and journalists have found it hard to achieve the official number. However, relief is in sight for Jaguar. Through its partnership with Waymo, Jaguar is contracted to build and sell 20,000 vehicles to the self-driving car company beginning 2021. As those vehicles hit on the road, will more buyers head to the dealer to buy electric Jaguars? We'll have to wait and see. You may enjoy this video here. Until next time, thank you for watching.